morning just a little quick check-in before i go about my day um literally just well i don't have to talk up i haven't just woke up <laughs> Um, I've just got out of the shower, I've washed my hair, it's gone like proper frizzy because I've literally just half blow dried it because it is already ten past nine and my appointment is at half past and I need to get to town parked up and get to the shop but I'm going to pick up my new glasses today. I've literally picked out the exact same pair that I've got on now but these are like six years old so it would have been more expensive to get like a new lens put into this one than what it was just to get a new pair because with my boots thing I'm on the contact lens scheme so you get your glasses for half price. So yeah, that's what we're going to pick up today. Then we're going to meet up with Laura. I think we're going to go to Marks and Spencer's Cafe at Teesside Park and have some breakfast together. And then I'm going to get my dad and we're going for a walk. Um, I'm thinking at Stuart's Park, so we're going to end up just going for a little walk just to see each other because we haven't seen each other properly really throughout the whole of Corona times really. So yeah, a little check-in but I'm going to go because I'm already like running late. See you in a bit. <laughs> so I'm back home. It is currently 25 to 3. Um, I didn't actually get anything really much from town in case anyone was wondering. Obviously I got them two palettes for Adele. Um, so I got her the Huda Beauty Colour, Colour? Coral Obsessions. This is 9 99 instead of 25 quid. And then I've got the um, Topaz Obsessions again 9 99 instead of 25 quid. So that's for Adele for me to send hopefully today um, for her. Obviously I've got my new glasses. I've just got my little case for them and then my old ones in there like literally look at the difference so these are my old glasses and these are my new ones <laughs> literally exactly the same these ones are thick i didn't get these ones thinned because it was an extra 30 quid and i was like who honestly cares like yes it does look thick but who honestly cares <laughs> like i'm really not that bothered and money is tight this month anyway so yeah my new gigs they feel so much better than my old ones like they're a lot obviously a lot tighter with them being brand new but i can actually see a lot better in them because obviously it's got my new prescription in which is why i had to get them i went to wilkinson's i got some more of these little will cause lavender scented bin liners got some of some of them because we've run out and then i've also got some more contact lens solution because i mentioned this i think in another vlog um i'm using contact lens solution at the moment and oh it's not even in there where i put it that's over here this one but it says it went out of date in april so i'm thinking like should i really be risking that with my eyes and i thought for the actual price of like one pound something I might as well just buy some new one because I don't know whether this is safe for me to be using when it, yeah, expires the 4th, 2021. So I'm going to bin that. I'm going to empty it out and then recycle the the tub just because I was just using it. You can see I've used, like, quite a bit of it. And I was using it and I was thinking, my eyes are really, really dry recently. Is it this? Is it my contact lens? How fluffy is my hair? Or what? So I'm just like, I'm not even going to risk it for the sake of £1 something. Like, I can just recycle that tub instead anyway so i picked up some more from wilkinson's this is the will cause complete solution all-in-one contact lens solution um i just got this one because obviously you can clean the contact lens and also use it to fill the little tub up as well and then i got some more of my eye drops these are the soothing eye drops um dry eyes eye drops lubricates and smooths dry eyes soothes not smooths <laughs> and it's suitable for contact lens users as well so I always get that one because obviously it means if I've got dry eyes in my contact lenses or just dry eyes with my gigs from being my computer and stuff, then I can use it no matter what. So yeah, I've got that as well. And um, that was only like one pound something, I think. I'm gonna put them in there. So my eyes, especially like last night when I was sat on my, my computer for quite a bit and I'd had my contacts out, my eyes are just so, so dry. So, oh, it comes with a new case as well. That's good because my case is ramming. Like, I've cleaned it loads, but I've had it for such a long time. Yes, yeah, so it says this goes out of date 2023. <laughs> so that makes me feel a lot better about it as well. I was going to go straight out to send them parcels. However, when I've got in, the P. Louise Beauty Box is launching at 3 o'clock and it's currently 24 uh, to 3. There's no one on this earth I'm risking missing out on this box because it's got a palette in it so i'm waiting for that <laughs> anyway i don't really know what to do i don't know whether to film 
I don't even know if I was going to film what I would film. I don't even know what my schedule's meant to be or anything. My head's just all over with me being like, my head, well, with my room being all over, my head's just being all over, to be fair. But I had a lovely time with my dad. and um, We just went for a walk around Stuart's Park, which was really nice. Um, and I had a little bit of a catch up. So, yeah, I've got like, I've got that trolley that needs sorting out. To be fair, that trolley has stuff on it that I need to do a video with. I've got like a full face of Fenny, full face of Charlotte Tilbury that I need to film, and a full face of Revolution. I might, you know what I might do? Is I might put a little poll on my Facebook, on my YouTube group, sorry, my YouTube channel. Am I okay? On my community tab, I might put a poll <laughs> to see what ones people want to see first. Because I've had some comments today saying that people want to see some more bougie stuff. Pull this one coming in then. I'm going to ask what do people, what do you want to see first? Because some people have been waiting for this Fen Test Infinity for like months. So I want to see what people want first. And I might film that today. Why can't I spell Shout Tilbury? There we go. <laughs> getting stressed then. Ah, uh, testing. Full face Fenty. Full face Charlotte Tilbury. Full face Revolution. Okay. I've put a little pause about you going to be able to see that at all. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's gone off it. I was trying to say I've put a poll on my Facebook, on my YouTube. What is wrong with me on my YouTube? I feel like my hair's finally starting to get long again. If you've watched my channel for years, I'm talking years back, I used to have such a longer, thicker hair than this. And to be honest with you, I think it was from like bleaching, over bleaching. The hairdresser that I was going, it wasn't really the best, and it was also me saying like make me as white blonde as possible. So it was a bit unrealistic the pressure I was putting on her, but also like what she was doing also wasn't good for my hair because she was bleaching on top of hair that had already been previously ble bleached. Instead of blending it all in together, she was just highlighting on top of the, the previous highlights instead of filling the gap. If that makes sense. So then my hair the ends were always a lot blonder than the top because obviously she the ends were double bleached and the top was just bleached on top of my, my root that I'd grew through, that makes sense. So that was one of the reasons. And then I also went purple. I don't know if you can remember that little phase that I went. I went purple with my hair and I did like it when it came to pictures. It looked half decent, but in person there was like full like string bits underneath that were like purple and um, that were yellow sorry or like a greeny like weirdly colour as well so I don't think that really helped well that definitely didn't help it and back when I went purple was when I'd started at the drug service and um back then like my job was so unbelievably stressful like ridiculously stressful so back then oh, I'm gonna just turn my computer on because I want to make sure that I've got my phone and my computer ready to get this POE's budget box. But back then, as well, um, I had my hair tied up every single day. Like, my mental health was quite bad back then. Um, I used to, like, reserve on my energy just to do the things that I needed to do. And in my head, like, showering and washing my hair was not one of them things. That's when I always know that my mental health is... is is slipping because I notice my personal hygiene starts to kind of drop a bit so sometimes I have to be and I'm being completely honest like I'm not embarrassed by it at all so it, it's just me being honest um about how my mental health impacts me it's different for each person Ooh. but um that was one of the things that I noticed so sometimes I do check-ins with myself and be like right okay like when was the last time that I, I showered and washed my hair like so yeah it's just how that's just how it goes. But as I was saying, so anyway, in a nutshell, far enough my little tangent. So because of that, because my hair was so tight, like and I mean like scraped back, tied up back of my head, really, really tight, my hair started falling out. I mean, I think it was also the stress as well of everything that was kind of going on back at that time. And also a really, really stressful job. Like my job was unbelievable. Like it was so hard, like so draining. And stuff it's crazy that like I functioned 
the way that I did back then. It's crazy, really. Um, but yeah, that's that's what kind of happened is I had my hair kind of stripped back, and it just it just ruined my hair. My hair was my scalp is so like sore to the touch now. Like it's sore here where I would normally put my bubble, and I had my hair in a bubble yesterday. That's why it's even more sore. You all know if you've watched my videos where I've talked ages about how I can't really put hair clips properly into my hair because it really, really hurts my scalp because my scalp's still sore from wearing it back. Like basically, I basically wore my hair tied back tight, near enough every single day, really, for a full year. It's a lot of pressure that. It's a lot of pressure on your head, especially when I'm scraping it back as well because obviously my hair was greasy and stuff. Like, it might be a bit gross to you, but that's just how. My mental health impacts me. I'm not embarrassed. <laughs> I'm not the first, and unfortunately, I won't be the last um, whose mental health impacts them in that way. I'm also just a lazy bitch as well, which does not come um, in handy when I'm lacking motivation because of my mental health. <laughs> because I can literally make any excuse to get myself out of doing things. I'll be able to find an excuse. I can make up like a, a reason why that timing's not right as well. <laughs> I can't like, like I don't know, it's just it's just funny. I think when I get my own house, that's gonna be the real kind of um, eye opener for me because a lot of the excuses that I use currently are because I live with other people. So like at the moment, I can only have a shower when I know that Blake's mum and dad aren't in the bedroom because the shower's in the ensuite and the main bathroom has a bath um, and not a shower. So. I use that as an excuse sometimes like I just know what I'm like and I know that I will just try and get myself out of anything because I'm lazy that's just how it is like <laughs> that's just who I am it's weird how how I've managed to kind of keep up with YouTube and that kind of life and uploading and all that kind of stuff whilst being at uni and trying to be a therapist and doing everything else when I am so lazy and I, I procrastinate so much so, I've noticed I am quite a perfectionist though. This is something that I've noticed, I've been picking up on recently. So I can't just, like, if I notice something isn't 100% right, especially when it comes to my YouTube, then I get really, really annoyed by it and I have to change it. So, an example, this week, um, you'll know from my last couple of vlogs, I might have mentioned it in this vlog as well, I'm not too sure. I did a full review on all eight of the XX Revolution palettes. Um, so we have, like, some colourful ones, some more nude ones. I did a full 31 minute video on my YouTube channel. I'll leave it linked down below if you want to go check it out. Um, I went through them all in detail. I swatched every single palette and I did a full kind of like rainbow look incorporating. I managed to get like five of the palettes into one makeup look, which was really, really good. I was quite, quite proud that I'd managed to kind of group so many palettes into one look as well. However, I edited it all. It took me ages, 50 minutes of footage. I managed to get it down to 31 was really really happy with it totally different to how i would normally do my my reviews normally i'm quite quick and snappy whereas this time do you know what i thought i'll show a bit more personality i'll show more of the bits that i would normally cut out um and i also thought like it'd be nice to do something a bit different a bit more in depth a bit more of a longer review took me ages a full hour for me to upload that onto youtube after filming it editing it Ooh, all that kind of stuff as well so you're looking like hours and hours and hours of work already at this point. By the time I filmed it, edited it, and now I'm uploading it for a full hour. Whilst I was uploading it, um, I thought, oh, I'll do something else, whatever. Then it came to like really, really late in the night time, and I wanted to watch a video. And obviously that was like my first ever video in this like new YouTube setup that I've got at the moment as well. So I was like, oh, I'll check the lighting, I'll see what it's like. It looked okay when I was filming it. I'll see what it's like when it goes onto YouTube because sometimes it goes a little bit funny, sometimes the sound goes a little bit funny um, and you don't know these things until you've already put the video live and somebody tells you. So I was like, do you know what, like, let me see, like, is this an interesting video, is it too long, like, let me see what the crack is and let me just, now that I've got fresh eyes, let me just have a little look at it again and see what it's like. So I put it on and I'm sat there and I'm like, oh, it's very washed out. Oh, I don't like it. So because of that, I then went back into Final Cut, re-edited the full thing again. So I didn't have to like re-edit the actual like 
footage itself i just edited the picture like the color of it instead so i completely color graded it all um which i haven't done in my videos for for quite a while to be fair so all that basically means is like making it actually look more like what it actually looks like because obviously with the, sometimes with the lights being so bright sometimes you need them to be that, that bright but sometimes it's just so bright on my face i need to just kind of bring that brightness down just so that it actually shows the true colors of what my face looks like and what the the colours of the palette looks like because sometimes my skin will look flawless on camera and I'm like that is just the lighting and sometimes I need to bring the brightness down to be able to show it more because I don't want my skin to look perfect on camera because it's not perfect and that's not realistic and I want to be realistic and just be like this is me I'm not bothered if my skin's not perfect because nobody is perfect like we're all just human whatever so yeah I was looking at it and I was like I'm not happy with that at all colour graded it all saved it again which took absolutely ages to save from final cut because obviously it's a big video then i had to sit, then i had to sit again for 40 minutes um no it was like 50 minutes and gen no yeah about 50 minutes 55 minutes to upload all again it was only 2 a.m by this point and i was like there's no way if i can sit here for 55 minutes whilst it's uploading because i can't just walk away from the computer when a video is uploading because the screensaver comes on and that's it the video stops uploading and then you come back to it you will get the mouse to get it to carry on uploading and the time goes up and you're like Fuck. so if you're uploading a video you need to be sat on your computer or you need at least to be, be wiggling the mouse every now and again and i was like i can't stay up until 10 to 3 <laughs> doing this so and i also had it was the night before my wardrobe was coming so i knew i had to get up for um 7 a.m ready for my wardrobe to come because my slot was between 7 and 9 and what a surprise it came eight minutes past seven i was the first drop off of the full day so i knew i had to go to bed um i didn't obviously know i was going to be first drop off but i knew that i had to go to bed so yeah i was just like i'm not happy with that at all so the next day i was hoping i said this to alex i was like oh i'm hoping i can get my sunday video up like early and not be on like late time like um like how i normally do it and i was like oh it's already like uploaded and everything and then obviously i noticed that lighting later on and i was like nah i'm not having this at all <laughs> i can't need to sort this out so then i had to upload it all again resort it all so i did end up putting it all up late on the sunday night but it's like i did double the work because I wasn't happy with it and I just knew that like I just knew that that wouldn't be something that I'd be happy to kind of put out into the YouTube world and I knew somebody would comment on it as well because I've had people comment on my videos recently saying like the the lighting has washed out the palette and I'm so glad that people say it to me because otherwise I wouldn't know these things so then I didn't know to double check it which is that that whole reason I double checked that video was because of that comment because I thought, like, I've changed my whole YouTube lighting and everything. I changed how I filmed the palettes in order to hopefully pick up the true colour of the palette. So it didn't have that kind of, like, white wash over it that you can get. And I've noticed that was happening on my face as well. So, yeah, it it... I just noticed like if something's not 100% perfect like I have to go back and sort it out of rides it's going to drive me insane so I've noticed yeah a bit of a bit of a perfectionist recently just a little bit of a perfectionist but hey ho it is what it is <laughs> as well so it's currently five to three I'm going to bed off because I'm going to end up being a little stressed in a minute trying to get this P. Louise budget box I'm already going to log on to the website now so that I'm already logged in and she's sending a link on the facebook page as well to be able to get onto it straight away so if you aren't already and you've wanted to get like p louise things like straight away then i would really 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 recommend getting the um the facebook group it's called like p louise takeover i'd really recommend requesting to join it because she puts like when things are going to get released in there she puts sneaky previews all that kind of good stuff but she also puts pre-sale links in it as well so i think we're getting like the pre-sale link this time i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm honest with you but it's now 56 so i'm going peace out wish me luck <laughs> i got the pee of the week bad bitches <laughs> and i'm gonna celebrate with a nap because i'm absolutely knackered Do you know what i was thinking like i've had um it's been 50 minutes since that poll went up on my youtube revolution's winning so far which i'm shocked by i didn't expect the revolution to be winning what is that bit of hair doing so i'm gonna have a nap and then see how i feel afterwards because i don't actually need to film today so i've got a video that i can put that i'm putting up tonight which is my empties i've got a video pre-filmed for wednesday that i filmed in my old youtube background both of them with my old one 
so I don't actually need to film today so if I don't need to and I don't feel like it after my nap then I'm not going to instead I'm going to sort my bedroom out because that's what needs doing so yeah kind of buzzing with myself I've got like two videos pre-filmed which is so unlike me so yeah I'm going to watch a bit of Pay Louise um, I'm going to watch Make Me Up Mrs new video and I'm pretty sure I've got Alex's new video to watch and I really want to watch because I feel like I've watched Lizzie's um lemon what was it called lemon solo lemon, lemon the new colour pop range I feel like I watched it but I didn't watch it watch it like I watched it whilst I was tired you know and I'm really really interested in that part so I'm going to re-watch that <laughs> as well and I'm going to have a nap because I'm actually drained from socialising like from seeing people and obviously we just did like a big walk around the park as well so I'm gonna I'm gonna treat myself to a nap I'm gonna get into bed treat myself to another nap <laughs> today we're back with another vlog I am absolutely loving vlogging this week I don't know what's the matter with me but I'm just pure feeling it it is currently 20 past 2 on Thursday the 27th I've literally got one more therapy appointment to do at half two and then I'm done for the day I've put some me time in which is basically like the service I work at we get um, depends on how many hours you do so I'm currently doing 30 hours so I get an hour and a half me time but my friend who does like full time she gets two hours me time so it's a time for you to take out any point during the month to do something for yourself something nice for you so I put a me time in from half three onwards so after my therapy appointment um I'll be done for the day and oh, I can't do it actually my arms are killing me I did boxing um yesterday at my gym class oh my god it was actually like my arm it was actually tortured but I'm hoping my arms are gonna get skinnier anyways but I'm going for a meal tonight with the work girls that I trained up in with um so there's like me Lenan, Ellie and Jam and Sophie and we all basically did the PWP trainee course together last year and obviously we're all qualified now Ellie can't come because she's poody sick so it's just going to be the four of us so I'm really excited that's why I put my me time in well I already had it in anyway so it kind of fit nicely with this meal regardless but on the plus side it means I can have a shower after this appointment um I can have a shower and then I can sort myself out make myself look presentable I think I might film it I might film myself getting ready just because it's going to be obviously me just playing around with makeup and putting something nice on oh that reminds me I put my shirt in the wash I best go down and put that on a spin this is what I love hello poochie <laughs> hello poochie you want to be on the camera you want to be on the camera oh you are so cute oh there we go, showing us it's bow instead. <laughs> so that's a, one bonus about working from home is you can do like daft stuff like that. And, oh, did you hear that? That was my, my hip. That just clicked. <laughs> that's the one bonus of working from home is you can put things like that on spin and all that kind of stuff and get things sorted whilst you're actually doing your work as well. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna get myself sorted for this last appointment get myself prepped for it and then i'm done for the day and i can get myself ready i've actually i've been uploading a vlog today so i started uploading that on my lunch break let's see what that's like oh god it does my head when it does this like you literally don't wiggle the mouse on your computer and then it decides like it's going to take even even longer to upload the video I don't know if you can see that but now it's trying to say it's going to take an hour and 20 minutes to upload the rest of this didn't even say that long it said 53 minutes to begin with <laughs> and because i let my screen go black because obviously i was in like doing work stuff it's now gone up to an hour and 20 minutes just to do the last 30 odd percent which is just a pain in the backside I have just asked my boss as well if I can go back up to full time at work because I've been four days now for quite a bit. Um, we ought to, like, we all agreed to go down to four days when we were trainees because people's jobs were at risk of redundancy and that was the way that we all kind of kept our jobs. So we all agreed, all of us full time people, to go down to four days. I didn't want to go back up to full time when we qualified because we were working from home, everyone else was on furlough and it was just a lot. I wasn't enjoying 
it because I was just stuck in the house all day, every single day. And I know everybody else probably felt the same in furlough and kind of got sick of it. But obviously I was also working as well whilst everybody else wasn't. And it was just, it was just, it wasn't nice. Like trying to do like important calls and stuff when there's other people in the house. It just, it's just not nice at all. Whereas like now obviously everyone's at work, which is really, really nice. Cause I just kind of get the house to myself, get my work done. And then obviously when my work's done, everyone's home from work anyway which just works really really nicely so yeah I've actually got up to full time so I'm just waiting for um like that can to kind of be looked into um for HR and top boss to have a look as well but hopefully I'll be able to go back up to full time I've asked if I can start it in July so I've still got kind of next month to do everything that I've already got booked in but also just to enjoy one more month of being four days as well so yeah really excited to kind of enjoy that last month and then start kind of doing a bit more therapy and start earning some more pennies because we are now officially like saving for a house like fully saving for a house so I'm gonna be a lot more strict on my makeup purchases and stuff as well right I'm gonna go I'm gonna get myself ready for this appointment and then I'm done for the day Boop. oh hello look how sexy my hair looks like a little ball sack just flopping about the place <laughs> um hello welcome back I think last time I spoke to you I think I might have been getting ready for a day out like for a meal out with my work friend it didn't actually go ahead one of my friends was poorly um so she couldn't come and then the other one had to stay behind and do some stuff for work so we just said you know what? we'll just rearrange it for another time like we'd rather have the full the full gang gang <laughs> if anyone watches that video she's gonna cringe <laughs> that was for you baby girl um yeah, we thought it'd be better just have everybody together for the catch-up. Oh, God, what are you doing, chair? So, right now, um, it's, like, Monday. It's bank holiday Monday, which means it's Monday the 31st of May. Um, and I'm sat on the floor organising my eye shows. I'm watching Bailey, because it's obviously Monday. And Blake's going to work away for a week. So he went away today and he'll be back on Saturday. By the time you're watching this vlog, he'll probably be back anyways. Because I've got quite a few of the vlogs that I need to get up before this one. To buffer. So, yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm like getting them out on the floor and I'm thinking, do I organise them by brand? Do I organise them by size? I'm not too sure. I think like when it comes to like the big palettes, they're going to have to just go into a draw themselves instead of having like a full like revolution draw where there's gonna be like massive palettes in there with little palettes if like it just isn't gonna like level out properly i had one draw that had my eyelashes in so i've got rid of that and put into a different draw that had these big palettes in because when i pulled them out for the big palettes the hingy thing went all funny so i was like that needs to be a light draw so i put my I'll show you. I'll turn you around. So this is a drawer that I'm talking about. So as you can see, it's my own fault because I haven't put the screws back in. But I just think this needs to just be a nice light drawer that's got my eyes and um, my eyes does my eyelashes in. These are all ones that have been used, like a have been used at least once. These are all ones that have been used once. These are ones that I need to have a little play around with and then these are all brand new ones apart from, no, actually, yeah. Yeah, they're all brand new ones as well. So there were in this drawer. So I've just moved them across and in this drawer we had all of these big palettes and then like a little one. So I'm thinking like big revolution, another big revolution one. That one's like a Morphe one, but that's gonna have to be. The only thing is, like, I can't. I don't. They can't. The drawers aren't like thingy enough not to stand them up. So you're always gonna have them like laid flat, which really annoys me. But I'm like, well, there's nothing really else that I can do about it. To be fair, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just all big palettes to one side. So like, obviously this one i won this one in a giveaway from alex if i remember rightly like p louise carnival um mitchell you can go over there and i'm thinking like do like medium palettes i mean that one's technically like a big one but that one there as well then we do like medium palettes it'll be like this and this and like i'd count that as like 
Oh, it's still kind of medium though, isn't it? This is like the hard part. Because then that one's like a bit smaller. But then this one's even smaller. But then this one's even smaller. Like, it's just hard to be able to like organise them all. This is going to be the hard part. It's like how to like pull it all together. Because then I have like this drawer full of eyeshadow. And I've got this drawer full of eyeshadow. And I've got this drawer <laughs> full of eyeshadow. And then I've got some over here in this drawer. Let's get these ones out. Anyway, this bubble, why is this bubble just chilling on my hand? Like, just get rid of that. And then I think, oh, that's an eyeshadow one. I think all of these are like other bits of makeup. Another one. That one's empty. Oh, this one's got eyeshadow in it as well. <gasps> right. Let me get some of these out. And then get cracking on with it and I'll show you what method I'm going for and how I'm getting on. Because I feel like sometimes I just need to be in my zone. Like that's, I don't know. Uh, why are they all such funky sh like shapes as well? I've also got a pile in here of stuff that I'm going to do in auction um, with my Patreons. To see if anybody wants it. So there's going to be some things for dirt cheap in there. Oh my god. Right, let me get all of this out. Let's just see what I do with it. Okay, so this is the new layout of my drawers. So my false lashes are now in here instead of being in the other drawer like I showed last time. This is now my big eyeshadow drawer. So I've got my two Mitchell ones and then I've done it like this so I can see all three. This is the bright palette from Beauty Bay. And then back here, I've done it so I can like see them from the side, which is so much nicer. So I've put like the ones I don't really reach for at the bottom, like the Jaclyn Hill palette, Colourful Morphe palette, um, Sweet Oasis. To be fair, that Sweet Oasis one needs to come out because I need to do a video on it. So let me get that one out because I don't think I was thinking about that when I was making this drawer. Then we have the Cancel palette from P. Louise and then my two Stacey Marie palettes again. So you can kind of see them all in there. That one's my hair dryer, and, well not even hair dryer, it's just like hair tools and stuff. Then we have on this side, this is like my bougie palette drawer. So we have Vive, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Urban Decay, Too Faced, Ella Masca, P. Louise. Back here is one that I don't really reach for that often, so we have like the Be Perfect Manifest one, Lime Crime, the Big Norvina one, and I think there's another one underneath it, but I can't really reach it. But again, ones that I don't really reach for all that often, but again, I could very easily just kind of pick it up and pull it out. Pixie ones um, that I don't really reach for, <laughs> excuse me, all that often. All of my big Huda Beauty ones, my Natasha Donona one, then we have Urban Decay Moon Dust, Tarte, mini Huda Beauty ones, um, another mini, mini Huda Beauty one, and then this one is a pixie glittery one that I've not tried yet. So this is like my bougie drawer, per se. And then after this one, we have this drawer, which is currently my Makeup Revolution drawer. So all of the brands that Makeup Revolution do, whether it's Real Love, whether it's I Heart Revolution, whether it's Makeup Obsessions, everything is in here really. And to be honest with you, this is going to, at the moment in time, this all fits in one drawer, only because I have got quite a lot of it on my trolley, ready to film videos with. Once I've filmed them videos, I will then need to make myself a second Makeup Revolution drawer and then I'll rearrange these drawers a lot differently because my plan is really to have maybe like Makeup Revolution and Makeup Obsessions together because it's only a couple of palettes that I've got from them and then have ha I Heart Revolution obviously Real Love I've literally only got this one but then have I Heart Revolution and what was the other one I don't really have that much of like yeah I don't really have like that much stuff to be honest with you i don't really know how i'm gonna do it to be honest i don't know i'll just blag it when it comes to the time and then this one is all of my palettes that are drugstore that aren't revolution so we have prima ones we have um saucy we have bh shanix or bh juvia's place which technically i would count as high end but it didn't really fit in that drawer and I just thought I'll shove it in this one. Then we have like Colourpop down here, Colourpop, Colourpop. Again, a lot of my Colourpop ones, um, a couple of them are on the trolley. 
So again, this will probably have to change once I've gone through the trolley. We've got some little ones down here. Primark, Winky Lux, um, Colourpop, NYX, um, Beauty Bay, Morphe, the little elf ones here, and NYX one here. We've got like all my kind of, um, what's it called, like the Beauty Bay smaller ones. New Romantics, Sunset Horizons, um, me, myself and my Mitchell. And then we've got like Urban Decay, rip off ones back here like from W7, which I absolutely love. I rave about this way more than the Urban Decay version of it. Like I actually prefer this over the Urban Decay one and if destroyed, still true because that is just unbelievable. And then behind like this, underneath here is palettes that like, I really do like, however, to be fair, it's mini Jeffree Star that's back there. So palettes that I do like and there's no point me selling it on because like the big purple one, I absolutely love. It's the only big one that I bought of his that wasn't the Conspiracy palette. Conspiracy palette, not really that bothered about. However, it barely sells on eBay and stuff anyway because nobody wants it. So I'm just, I just don't see the point in selling it yet. I'm never going to reach for it. I'm never going to show it in a video. Um, but yeah, I just don't really know what I want to do with it yet. But the Bloodlust one, the purple one, I will definitely keep that and use that on my own time because I paid like 50 something quid for it and I wouldn't use it on my YouTube channel because of like him and not supporting him. However, I still spent my money on it so I'm still going to get my money's worth. I don't actually think, I don't think we've put any over here to be honest with you. So these are like all drawers for me to play with. And then we didn't put anything in this drawer and then this one's just got like daft bits and bobs. In the moment, I've got a bag of things down here of stuff that I'm going to sell on um, as well. And then I've got this pile here. <laughs> There's like just stuff everywhere. I'm just like swiveling around. This is recycling. This is all recycling that I'm hoping that I can take tomorrow. These are like dividers for drawers, little bath bombs. I don't even know what I'm doing with half of this. Some of it's packaging, some of it's recycling. Who knows? But I've got all of this that needs to go onto my trolley. So we have like XX Revolution, Relove, um, these are like the Revolution Pro Rockstar ones. This one from Revolution Need to Test. Another one. Another one from Revolution. We've got like under here, we've got Sample Beauty. We've got like the, what's it called? The Rude Cosmetics one. We have this one, which is a manifest palette from Be Perfect that I still haven't done a video on. So this all needs organising and putting into my trolley. I'm hoping, because I'm at the hairdressers tomorrow. So I'm hoping that after the hairdressers, before I start work, I can sort some little bits and bobs out in here. If not, it's not the end of the world. Like I'm not, I'm not going to stress over it because I'm at the hairdressers like 9:40, and then I start work at 12. So <laughs> I already know that it's going to be tight, and I'm going to have to get something whilst I'm out and about for lunch, anyways. So yeah, this is my current situation in regards to my eyeshadow kind of draw setup at the moment as well.